going on ladies and gents i'm going to show you so far the best location for getting easy absolute and also a hidden chest which has got a couple of useful things in it now i've already been over to this area and grabbed some stuff and this is what we have found in that area so far and all of this stuff here is extremely easily accessible none of it's in hard to reach place you can do it all without a jetpack and it's all just out in the open and I've only just come across it because I've never ever looked over there because I just thought it was a dead area. So we've got a couple of quartz, we've got some super alloys, uranium rods, iridium rods, heaps of zeolite, fertilizer tier one and tier two, explosive powder. We've got four rocket engines and there's still more to go over there. So what you want to do is we're over at this wreckage here, which is once again, that's our base over there at the main starting point and you come over to this wreckage first off I'll show you the uh, the hidden chest you come here all the way out on the wreckage and we just drop underneath it and bam there it is it hasn't got the best stuff in it but the bioplastic nugget and the two super alloys are really handy definitely 100% and aluminium can be a pain in the ass to find because once you sort of collecting it all off the ground you have to really use an ore extractor to get it so let's keep heading over these sand dunes and you'll just see it start popping into view this beautiful grassy area which I did not know existed so there's a few chests that are laying around you can come over here and we'll find one over there, heaps of zeolite around the place, and again we've got zeolite in the chest, we've got super alloys, we've got the rocket engine, some more explosive powder, we want to come around here, so there is another one or two chests that are along there, but they've already been taken and deleted by me, I don't think there's any around here is there. I've been going all along the edges just in case there's a secret cave anywhere. I haven't found one yet. Nothing along that edge. So we'll come behind these rocks here. That's, as you saw at the very start of the video there, there's a heap of stuff I've already got in my inventory or in the locker back at that mini base. Come around the corner here, more zeolite, heaps of it. More super alloys, aluminium, chips, uranium rod. And now we've got to come up here. All the way along here. Now there's zeolite up here, which we haven't taken that one. But yeah, this can all easily be accessed just through walking. You don't need jetpack. There's one chest, osmium, that's the aluminium I've collected through this area so far. Uh, there's some more zeolite there, which we've already got. There's another chest here, which we've already got. We've just put our stuff that we don't really want in it for now. More zeolite. Uh, I think that's all for the chests up here, is it? There's just some more zeolite there. Uh, I think that may be it for now. Yeah, that's the zeolite there. And there's a few more chests that are just spread out through this area that you'll have to find. I've already taken them. And then, you know, shoot, deconstructed them to get the iron out of them. Yeah, there was two or three chests down here. There's that one over there. There's some more zeolite. There's another zeolite there as well, which we've already taken. But yeah very very good loot heavy area to go and experience and grab as much stuff as you can because you look at what we've got now plus what we had originally so that's five rocket engines in total so there's another chest over there in front of that rock but five rocket engines without having to build them that, that's a, that's good the rocket engines they consume your iridium pretty quickly so yeah we've already got that one there's another zeolite again. Plenty of zeolite, I think. From what I've been reading online, it's around like the 32, 33, obviously 34 as well, people saying is the maximum they've got. I think we've got more than six rocket engines now. 
that's huge heaps of super alloys as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 17 super alloys i'm trying to find a cave just in case there is one but it doesn't look like there's any cave around here that i can see but we'll go back and we'll just do an analysis we'll deep dive analysis see exactly how much we've got just from that one area of really it's ridiculous the amount that we've gotten really I've, I've never walked here before because obviously this was all desert there was no water or anything before um because i've obviously learned near that the ring what i call the ferris wheel which is like way over there the desert like just keeps going until you hit the walls which is exactly what i thought here was because obviously this was all yellow so yeah oh no we're just gonna hit a wall never even bothered walking that far but we found obviously there's the cave up there as well with heaps of super alloys in that area it's just a extremely extremely rich area for loot but we're back now at this little mini base and we can just check out exactly how much we've gotten and that doesn't include the two crates of aluminium that are sitting there but that there's all the loot that we've gotten from that one area one two three four five six six engines one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, zero lights, super alloys. We're at 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 super alloys. Two fertilizers, two tier, two fertilizers, huge amounts, two quartz as well. Those pulsar quartz, that's huge. So make sure you check this area out. It is super, super handy and yeah, just crap loads, crap loads of stuff love it um please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching catch us the next one peace